Whoa. Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in this world, whenever you hear this. This is Malty coming to you from the GCA. There's something we need to talk about, and there might be more videos on it, but I, at this point, am livid. If you've been a player of the Dragon Age games, we've been waiting 10 years since Inquisition. We're finally about to get a new release called The Veil Guard, and there are some things coming out from the head writer. And so let's try to see how long I can go without cussing because I am not happy about this whatsoever. I guess we should just take this topic at a time and just let this be a rant on one issue at a time. Bioware reveals removal of blood magic and more in the Veil Guard. First of all, that looks like crap. That looks like Fable 3. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are you freaking serious? 24. Ugh. Mm. Well, the game features Dragon Age 2, so the regressing dialogue wheels with fantasy emotes include indicating flirtatious or virtuous responses. So there's nowhere in between. Of course, you have to put flirtatious in, in these things. Sorry, I'm pursing my words. Because it's all about sex or being good. But these people have no morality, yet they want to talk about it, don't they? They love to talk about morality, not even having a moral lawgiver. We're not going to get into any of this kind of stuff. Can they engage in demonic relationships or bully strangers? Well, there are limits. According to Trick, we... This is like Ryan Johnson-esque. Look, are you freaking kidding me? Now, the popular class specializations like Shapedister, Bard, and Bludgemade. Did you forget about the Reavers? The Reaver class in the warrior in in the the, the warrior class, and you can become you can specialize in being a Reaver. Oh no, no, they don't bring that up at all, and they don't have a problem with anything like that. They have a problem with blood mages. We're excluded due to ethical concerns. Now. I mean, this has always been a part of it. You know, sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Sacrifice others for the greater good. I mean, this is an entire part of war strategy. And when shit's... When crap is going down, sometimes you have to sacrifice. It's like pawns and chess. Sometimes you have to sacrifice your pawn so the greater game can be won. Yes, this is a moral dilemma. However, the whole point of most of these like Dragon Age games is that you you build the future. That's why you have ported characters that you can do from the decisions that you've made and they affect the world in the next game that you play. That's the whole point of it. That's, that's, that's like a whole lot of fun about these games. It's like you choose the story. The main story will happen, but how does it happen? How does it end up? What other kind of things you have to deal with the consequences of your actions, whether or not you piss off someone that could have helped you later on down the line. It's the whole thing with Bioware. That's kind of how, like, how they made their bucks with KOTOR and stuff like that, whether or not you garner um, favor with your companions or you kind of push them away. And then when you need them in the very end, when everything hits the fan, they will or will not back you based on how you've treated other people and them the entire game. That's what Bioware does, especially the Dragon Age games. I think it can be ethically neutral if you only use your own blood, but after seeing it used as a required part of mind control and demon biting in Dragon Age 2, it's just not a road we want to hero to walk right now. Well, who says you have to be a hero? What defines a hero? Riddle me this, Weeks. And you are such a cuck. It's just, does, does anybody actually wonder why all of this crap is failing, fading? It takes so long for any of this stuff to come out, beloved franchises, because they put people like this in here. People like this who want to, oh, now we want to be a little bit soft-hearted and a bit soft-headed. It's like, no, the whole thing was about choice. It was always about choice. And then it's bloody disgusting right 
all the way through it. It's freaking war. I'm going to stop right here because there's so much more we can talk about. And I don't want to get, I am angry. I am angry about a whole lot of stuff. And I did a lot of research about other things. There's so much more to be angry about. Will you join me? Let your rage flag fly. It even says speculations about the future of the Dragon Age franchise. Well, his comments spark speculation about the moral boundaries and possibilities in the upcoming RPG. In Origins, the original one, the GOAT, players could specialize in blood magic due to the dire threat of a demonic horde. So the by all means necessary approach. So you're really using this as a scapegoat. Oh, it was okay in the first one. You know that fans love the one that like sold a whole bunch, the one that like launched the whole series. You're using that as a scapegoat. Well, we want to move on past that. Well, we can move on past you having a job. I hope it's been long enough now, but go fuck yourself, trick. This has been Malty with the GCA. I know that I'm a little bit heated. There will be more videos like this because this is my, basically, this and KOTOR, Bioware in its golden age used to be my favorite games of all time. So I have a lot to say. No matter what side of the aisle that you come out on whenever it comes to this, obviously I have vested interest in old Bioware and stuff like that. So wherever you come out, whether it's hatred towards me and my takes, whether it's hatred towards what is happening with this franchise that a once beloved franchise let me know in the comments feel free to engage in civil discourse and until the next time this is multi from the gca i appreciate y'all so much and welcome to it bye